little over a month into his presidency and Biden is bombing the Middle East. Well, imagine my shock. Never saw that coming. So different having military action under Biden. No middle school level threats on Twitter. Trust Biden and his team's competent. At least while Biden is bombing brown people, he's not being offensive on Twitter. Trump airstrike. Biden airstrike. I mean, is it really necessary to obtain that pesky congressional approval when you're respecting proper pronouns? But don't worry. It was a defensive missile attack. The military-industrial complex is notorious for its careful restraint. And now that they're allied with the most militaristic cabinet in recent history... Oh, I'm sorry, I mean... The resistance. I'm sure they'll just leave it at that. Also, what is the legal authority for strikes? Assad is a brutal dictator, but Syria is a sovereign country. Good question. Someone should ask the White House press secretary. Um, I'll have to just circle back with you. Do you really think that an administration that cared so much about diversity would really put black and brown people at risk? Yes, Biden may have picked a roster of foreign policy architects that make George W. Bush look like a weed-addled pacifist, but in case you forgot, we now have a VP of colour! Do we really need to know why Biden is bombing the Middle East when we can just watch Kamala Harris dance instead? They're bombing us again, Dad. Don't worry, my daughter. This time it's different. We are now being bombed by Kamala Harris, the first female vice president of USA. We should be proud. This is part of history. Tonight on CNN. Is this the most diverse cabinet ever to bomb the Middle East? Tonight on CNN. What's the biggest threat to brown people? Airborne death raining down on brown people? Or QAnon kooks on obscure internet forums discussing white supremacy? Gotta be QAnon, right? The brown kids may still be in cages, but maybe if the cages were painted in rainbow colours, that would make it a positive thing? I guess you don't have to worry about putting kids in cages if you atomise them first. Oreos. Trans lives matter. And not just when you're exploiting them for millions of dollars in free woke advertising. How can we appeal to the kids? Global corporate hegemony says trans rights. Now that they're back in the military, will trans lives matter when they march into Syria? Will Syrians lives matter? Will Oreos be tweeting about it? Middle Easterners begin painting transgender flag colours on doorposts to avoid Biden drone strikes. Maybe Oreos can sponsor the M1 Abrams tanks as they blitzkrieg into Damascus. Maybe Mr. Potato Head can represent gender non-binary people by getting a decal on a B2 stealth bomber. I'm sure the Syrian people are relieved that orange man gone. And it's all fine. Because Raytheon tweeted the black square for George Floyd. Raytheon Intelligence and Space celebrates diversity and a culture of inclusion. They don't discriminate. And that's why they're totally happy to indiscriminately butcher Yemeni civilians with laser-guided bombs. It's progressive. Biden's pick for defense secretary is being given a $1.7 million handout as he leaves Raytheon. But look! He's black! It's progressive. Northrop Grumman donated a million dollars to Black Lives Matter causes, which surely compensates for all those AARGM supersonic warheads about to be tenderly sprinkled on black and brown heads. It's progressive. Boeing provides the precision-guided technology to ensure those bombs find their targets. Except when that fails and a wedding party gets wiped out. But hey! They vehemently denounced the January 6th violence. And performative virtue signaling is really what matters. People are starving, they can't pay their rent. You got millions of Americans that are uninsured. They got no health care. They lost their jobs. Where the fuck are the checks? Oh, I know. They went to Raytheon so they could bomb my country. Thank God the cabinet is diverse. I'm so happy that a rainbow cabinet just bombed my country. Thank you so much. But even if there are questions to be asked about further US involvement in the Middle East, you think how wonderfully robust mainstream media wouldn't be all over it? I mean, it's not like major publications aren't even mentioning the story on their front page. Is it build back better? More like bomb back better with inclusivity and compassion. So Joe Biden bombs Syria and kills the minimum wage hike, confirming every fear progressives had. Soon they'll renege on getting $2,000 checks to everyone in the middle class by limiting who gets it to appease their donors. The establishment is back, and it absolutely sucks. Wait, what? The establishment? No, 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 no. I was told this was the resistance. You're saying they lied to us? Impossible. Bombs are falling on Syria again. The kids are still in the cages. The $2,000 checks are AWOL. But hey, at least orange man bad gone. At least Mr. Potato Head no longer a mister. As president, I will use military power responsibly. And as a last resort, we will not go back to forever wars in the Middle East. Sure, Jan. <laughs> Thank you.
it's absolutely crucial for you to help me fight the war on free speech by supporting me via subscribe star link in description and also signing up for my free newsletter at summit.news forward slash newsletter.